and thanks to Real. Now, first impressions are lasting impressions when it comes to buying real estate. So when a potential buyer pulls up out the front of your house, you want them to come in. Jess found out some tricks on how to make over your garden for sale. Whether your budget's 200 or you've got a little bit more to spend, here's some inexpensive ideas for you. Putting your house on the market and you want to create a great first impression. You don't need a big budget or a landscaper to do the trick. Head to Bunnings, they've got some great tips to help make over your garden. Alan, so say we've got $200 to spend on dressing up our garden, yep. where is the money best put? I'd put it into plants, put it in nice flowering plants. Yep. Um, got things like these diplodinas here, just a small shrub it is, mm -hmm. but it flowers virtually all the year round. It's a great colour. Oh yeah, you, you can get them in, in this plum colour, you can get them in reds, you can get them in whites. Uh, you also, this is another great little plant, which is Tipicina carolin. Mm -hmm. Okay, it gets a nice purple flower on it, but it'll flush at various times throughout the year. Uh, but it only goes about a metre and a half tall. Great, so this is like a quick fix. Yeah, exactly. It just, as soon as you buy them in good flower when you purchase them and Liven plant up. them away and they'll be flowering in your yard straight away. Liven up your garden. Yeah. This is another really good plant too. This is the Bellaria. Mm -hmm. It's um, just a small shrub. Mm -hmm. It gets to about a metre tall, but it gets plenty of nice little pink flowers on it, mainly through the summer months, and looks good all the time even when it's not flowering. So this is um, full sun and half sun? Yep. What would we plant if we had no sun whatsoever? Well, we'd have to head over to the shade area. So say our garden doesn't have any sun at all, what plants would we use? Straight away we start using some of these more shady varieties. We've got some really nice colourful ones like these New Guinea Impatients. Mm -hmm. You can get them in virtually any colour you'd like. Also, you can use things like these bromeliads for colour. They're a very long lasting plant, they last for forever and also you can get them in different colours. Uh, but the calatheas are very good too. Because calatheas, you can get all sorts of calatheas, but they're all known for their foliage colour. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. These ones are another good flowering one too. Anthuriums. And how long will these flower for? They flower for a reasonable amount of time. The more you look after them, the more you can keep them flowering. How much are all of these plants likely to set us back? We'll set you back about $200. $200 for all of these yep, plants? All these here, and they'll fill up a really good area too. That's money worth spending, isn't it? Absolutely. So Tim, say we can stretch our budget that little bit further, would you recommend putting the money into pots? Yeah, look, pots for $100, you can get two really nice glazed pots. Um, they're always great features. Fill them with a really good premium grade potty mix and you've got yourself an awesome feature throughout your house somewhere. Terracotta pots are cheaper than the glazed pots. For the same price as two glazed pots, you can get about eight terracotta pots. Um, with a premium grade potty mix for around about $100. That's fantastic, so you've got more pots to move around your yard. Yeah, you can, look, you can put them in the front, the back, around the pool, around the barbecue area. They look fantastic pots. And I guess you get to take them with you when you move. Yeah, it's a great idea, isn't it? So we've got the plants, we've got some nice pots. We need an outdoor table to sit back and admire our handiwork while yes. the garden's still ours. What have you got on offer? We have a range of different table settings available um, to spruce up the, uh, the garden. A lot of our range does sort of increase over about $300, mm -hmm. but uh, if you're on a, a bit of a budget, we've got three-piece settings that range from about $180 down to $60, which we're actually sitting in now. That's a bargain. For the table and the two chairs yep. for $60, it will really add a lot of value to your house. Yeah, it does actually. The colour, uh, being a dark charcoal colour, pretty much goes with anything and looks really good. You can put it at the front door or on your veranda. Yeah, you could. Just little things like this uh, do really do spruce up the garden and, and make the house look good. Want to know how to make over your garden for sale? Well, watch next week when the guys from Bunnings and I show you how. It's not going to cost as much as you think either. Bunnings have some great sausage sizzles on the weekends as well. I can't go there without having one of their sausages. There are four stores on the coast, so head out today to grab a snag and even more tips on improving your garden for sale. 
If you're selling and want to get your property on the show, go to our website, goldcoastforsale.tv or call 55148600. One of our sales representatives can come around to your place to speak with you directly about marketing your property on the show. Now, LJ Hooker have two properties to show you this morning. See what you think.